My wife and I met in graduate school when we were both preparing for careers in mission health service. And we were married uh, 35 years ago and moved to Africa three weeks after we were married. We came to Arusha where I remain today and when we arrived here, the people I met, the, the Tanzanians and the missionary community that I met with, I really had an incredible sense of calling that God was saying to me, this is the place that I created you to be in and to you to serve me in. Our desire in starting the Arusha Lutheran Medical Center, ALMC, was really to create a center of excellence, of excellent medical care and medical training in Northern Tanzania in hopes that we could be a model of what is possible in a Christian mission hospital in terms of quality of care and in terms of providing long-term sustainable holistic ministry to the people that we serve. Arusha Lutheran Medical Center is really the leading health institution in, in Northern Tanzania today with a full team of specialists providing services in, in all the major departments. Uh, last year we saw close to 150,000 patients coming through this hospital. We did 3,000 major operations. It's a very busy, productive, and wonderful place for care. When I started working with Mark Jacobson in 2006, he took uh, an orthopedic surgeon and myself into his office explaining a vision that the, the Mission Hospital would treat more children with disabilities. We built the current plaster house in 2013 with the help of African Mission Healthcare Foundation and many other Christians around the globe to make a place that was safe and, and joyful for these children to recuperate and recover and rehabilitate in order that they could go home in good condition. We provide an outreach service, educating communities that children with disabilities can often be treated. We get them strong enough to have the surgery, and after they're discharged back to us, they stay for a recovery period in a clean, healthy, fun environment, and through a rehabilitation phase until they're ready to be discharged home. Professor Jacobson, Mark Jacobson, first has been a personal friend. Uh, it's not uh, uh, only that uh, he, he has really impacted me as a, as a, a leader with a, a lot of vision. Uh, a person who can turn ideas into reality. Without him and the Mission Hospital's work, we, the Plaster House and its work, would not be in existence. At the Plaster House, we're currently caring for around 600 children every year. And it's a wonderful service, which could be even greater and which could provide care to more children in need than we do today, if we had the resources, if we had the support to make it possible. 